Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Linux Unix AIX. It's been a while that I have shared any video. So I, I was thinking let's uh, do some uh, tutorial or session in Linux again. And today I'm back with uh, uh, one of my tutorial uh, regarding uh, background and foreground jobs. So I wanted to uh, discuss with you and I wanted to show you guys how to uh, run jobs in foreground and how to run jobs in background because you know many times we have to uh, run a particular job in background because it takes a lot of time and you cannot just wait on the screen for it to complete okay <coughs> so I just give you an example okay how we can do that because uh, because there are few jobs which is taking a lot of time and then uh, what you have to do is if you run that job if you run that command what will happen is it will take a lot of time for example I have created a demo script because uh, I, I so the thing is if a job is taking a lot of time let's say 15 to 20 minutes to complete so it actually taking the it is actually consuming the processor time it is actually uh, consuming the CPU uh, and resources that's why it is taking some a lot of time and it's taking a lot of uh, time to do some uh, you know work in the background but here I don't have any bigger job so what I have done is I have just given some random commands and I have given sleep just to you know uh, you know uh, you know increase the time of this uh, you know uh, program so that it will take some time okay fine so this is my program so if I run this okay if I run this directly what is happening is if I run this directly so if I run this in like this if I run like this so what will what will happen is whatever it is doing it is doing on the screen and at the moment you cannot do anything you are just stuck and you have to wait for the job to complete okay I mean whatever time it is taking 10 seconds or 20 seconds or 30 seconds so you have to wait uh, for it okay so that's the uh, negative thing and that's the drawback that can be overcome using this approach of background and foreground jobs so what we do is uh, we uh, we can run that job which is taking more than 5 minutes or 10 minutes in background that will help us to do my other works at the same time and at the same time your job will run in the background so that's the advantage okay so now you see now my prompt is ready so during this that period I was not able to do anything okay there is another approach to do that so how do we do that so just take the script whichever is taking a lot of time and just give an ampersand at the end what it will do it will take that job in the background okay so if I run it like this it will you see it will take the now your prompt is ready you cannot you can do whatever you want okay you see I can do whatever I want because my job is running in the background now see whatever is happening it is prompting and it is uh, pushing the output on the screen right so now you see the output is coming whenever it is ready and whatever something is to be thrown on the console it is coming on the screen right so this is how the job is running in the background so at this moment also you can do whatever you want but still your back your job is running in the background but there is a problem here also that your uh, the prompt is coming something and it is displaying something in between okay right so there is one another thing that you can do now you see the job is completed with a done message fine that was another way of running the job in background let's try some another approach so if I run like this the job will go in the background and it will run right okay so next is just a moment so next is what is happening is uh, so now let's say I want I don't want the output of this script on the console it should go to somewhere else and it should not disturb me at all it should run in the background and I should not be disturbed with that and I can do whatever I want on this at the same time so how do I do that for that there is another approach to do that so what we have to do is you have to do no hub 
no hop and then you can give time okay so when you give no hop time what will happen is it will run this script in background plus whatever output will come on the console or whatever output is supposed to be showing on the screen that will go in a separate file and you are completely unaware of what is going on in the background and that is the best way to run a job in background so if I run it like this okay so now you see what is happening no hub ignoring input and appending output to no hub dot out so this is you, you won't feel anything happening you know I mean you can do your work you are your you can uh, I mean whatever you want it is all whatever is happening it's happening on this on the background okay so now you can uh, now it, it will generate a, def a separate output file if it has to throw anything on the screen so you see if you just do cat on this no hub file okay so you can see the output of the script what it is doing okay and you are completely undisturbed okay from the script so this is the best way to run a script in background okay okay fine now now you see now the job is completed okay fine this is the way you put a job in background now let's say I want to uh, I, let's say I ran the job I, let's say I ran the job but I want to bring it in the foreground okay so if I run it like this let's just give some more you know uh, time and this let's say I gave uh, here I gave 30 seconds okay yeah it's just a demo job I mean you can I mean the purpose is to show a job which takes a lot of time to run okay and how do we do that okay so now what I will do is uh, I will run this job with a background format like this and let's now you see this job is it has gone to background okay now if I want to uh, bring it back again in foreground how do I do that you can do FG foreground so that will come in in, in foreground now you see when I ran that I had the prompt with me I, I was able to do anything I want but when I did FG again it the job came in foreground and you see now my prompt is busy and, and I cannot do anything again so that's the way to bring a job in from foreground from background okay so you see this is this is hung now I mean it is uh, it is uh, the job is running in the foreground okay so this is the way you can bring the job in the in the foreground okay so that uh, I was just I wanted to explain with you guys uh, the concept of foreground jobs and background jobs and you can uh, you can certainly uh, go to the manual pages of uh, FG which is foreground command and BG which is a background command so if you want to uh, run a job in background you can also use BG command okay to run a job in background so this is yeah no now the job is completed okay so uh, that's all in this tutorial uh, mm, I will come back with another tutorial on this if anything is missing uh, please uh, comment and let me know and don't forget to subscribe my channel which is uh, Linux Unix AX it gives a complete sessions and tutorials about uh, open system plat platforms like Linux, Python, so scripting that's all thanks for watching